Howdy folks, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial episode number 32 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And I'm back on the surface, I'm no longer in the deep dark caves doing farming episodes. I'm now going to build myself a house. This is the one thing I don't have. I have a cloud tower which is more of a little fortress structure than a home. It's not very comfortable or cozy. And I've got my hot tub down there and my little farm uh, over here. So I figured it's time to build myself a house. Now, this design is very interesting. I got it from a guy by the name of Leo Stereo. It's on minecraftforum.net forums. And I will put a link in the description of this video directly to that thread, and you can take a look at his little tutorial. He's got screenshots showing the uh, full product when it's complete. Um, but I will walk through the whole thing here today right now. That's the purpose of this video. But you can see it. He shows it off in different... Um, with different texture packs. Anyway, let's get started. Let's jump right in. Some of the things we're going to need for this. Bring up my inventory. Uh, we're going to need 32 logs. I've got pine here, which is dark wood. We're going to need some stacks of cobblestone, at least four. Um, we can also build a wall around the structure, but you will need more. You'll need a lot of fence for that and more cobblestone. If we do that, I might do that. And uh, let's see, some letters. I'm going to need a stack of wooden stairs, glass, two doors, uh, and half stone slabs, and wooden planks, and some torches. So, let's get started. Oh, and glass. Did I say glass? I did. So, first, what we want to do is mark off a little area. It's a very small cottage. This is simple, um, it's small, it's cozy, and that's what just the way I like things. And you want to mark off an area Aww. six by eight. So I've already done that. This is six that way, eight that way, and the door is going to be right here. It's going to be a double door in the front. So what you want to do is go ahead and dig all that out. You want to go down three blocks. This is going to be the basement of our cozy little cottage. So I'm going to dig right down here. And, oh, I'm going to have to fill that back up. Come on, cobble. And I am not going to subject you to all of the digging. I'm going to cut out here and let me get this done. Be right back. Okay, the digging is done. As you can see, I'm three deep. And now I'm going to pour the foundation. And you just want to put cobblestone all around the edges. Just like so. And you can go all the way to the top. And go right around. And again, this is really going to be a small structure. Uh, and if you go to the forum and look at the thread posting, you will see a lot of folks that have taken the basic design and added um, second floors or additions on the side and so forth. And they look really fabulous. So head on over there. Go click that link. And again, that'll be in the description of the vid. I mean, I'll watch you there. I keep hitting escape for my inventory because I've been playing Terraria. <laughs> That's how you get to inventory. So I apologize. I keep bringing that up. I have to retrain myself for Minecraft. Okay, so there's the foundation is poured. And now we want to take some wooden planks and lay down the floor. This is the basement. This is where all the storage will go, wine, etc. All right, so there we have the basic structure um, and outline of the foundation and the basement. Okay, now let's get out of here and just do this. We want to raise this up. Actually, we want to take your dark wood now and just put one piece in each corner for now. And you can use birch here. You can use uh, regular, regular wood like that uh, light brown. This is pine. It's dark, and it looks really nice with the dark. I think. So I'm going to go with the dark. And now I'm going to raise up the foundation a little bit more. One more, right to the wood there. 
And for your front door, you want to leave, just go in two. We have two spots open. That's where the door is going to go. And just go all the way around and fill in the wall. Back wall can just go all the way across. Alright, so there we have basic foundation with the wood on the sides coming to. All right now we need our front st there I go again our front steps so we're going to need some wooden steps and I have a couple of wooden planks here as well so what we want to do now is put down block on the side wood block there wood block there and then steps in the front so now we have a way up and down and we want to put our regular floor in and right here flush with the foundation and this will be the floor of the set of the first floor the flooring of the first floor that is again you can use any kind of wood that you want you can use sandstone if you'd like but this is um, kind of a country cottage so I would like to have it like so um, the one thing I need to do, which I haven't done, I'm going to have to dig down here, put a ladder, and to get down into the basement. Okay, but we don't need that right now. Now let's build up the walls a little bit more. I'm going to go up to... Oh, it's getting dark already. Two on the sides here for the dark wood. And then we want to fill this up with cobble. We're going to put some windows in here as well, so let's start at the front. Uh, shoot, we're going to have to do this at night. This torch is not going to be there forever. I just want to put them in right now to get um, the glass going. And what we're going to do is put this here and another one there. And we're going to leave those spaces for the doors, remember? And let's get some glass in my <laughs> terraria the inventory and I will put a piece of glass here and cobble there and we'll get the doors up quickly and glass there so let's take a little peek so that's the front so far let's throw <laughs> uh, okay so let's put in the doors and we can go finish the walls I think I'm going to wait till day to pick up where we left off. And we're back. Sun's on the rise. Let's finish up the walls. I guess there's no sense in closing the door right now. <laughs> all right, so just go ahead, go all the way around, and put another layer of cobble on the bottom, like so. And then glass next to each pine wood uh, border piece here like that and I think we're gonna have a big uh, window in the background here in the back we'll do a double it's a double window so intense so we have the double window in the back all right Oop. seem to be missing something there all right so now on to the next step Okay, now we're just going to raise it up a little bit more. Oh, stop that. It's just like layered cake. Just add another layer all the way around. We're going to start with the wood on the sides and cobble all the way around between the wood. And I'm not going to be able to reach, am I? No. Oh, I hit the right button that time. I. Oh yeah, yeah. People are like I for inventory. That's crazy. I'm um, just used. To, I set mine to I because I'm just used to using I, in all the shooters and stuff that I play. I is always inventory. Yeah. Uh, e is probably easier to get to with WASD the way it's set up in Minecraft, but I just like I. So sue me. All right. Um. What we're going to put here, we'll put cobble across the top. 
And I'm going to leave those dirt blocks there for now. Let's just take a look. So let's make the overhang. For the overhang, we're going to need, we need some dirt and some fence posts because we have to use a little trickery to get this to work. And in order to do this, what we want to do is put up dirt on the sides. Um, I think we can put the fence here now. I want to put one fence post there. And then up above, and I'm going to have to get a little higher here. I'm going to put a piece of wood here. There's my wood. Okay, well, we just went back in time. Um, actually, we went forward in time and now back in time. As you can see, everything is completely done here. What happened was I got into, I'd finished this project. I got into Adobe to make the video and edit it. And I realized I was missing the clip that finished building this overhang. Um, so I had to go back. I loaded up the map again, destroyed the overhang of the finished product, and I'm going to go back and show you guys how I did this because I lost that clip. I couldn't find it. I don't think it was recorded. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pick up right now. Um, to finish this overhang, we want to put in a wood block there, a wood block there, and just pretend all of that does not exist. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then climb up, and you want to put a... Uh, where am I? Yeah. Uh, yep, right here. You want to put a stair there. And just... Hold shift down and you can walk right over that. And then that's it. That's where, that's the clip I lost. That part right there. And then I actually had gone down and broke these up and put in fence posts to complete that piece like so. And then that's it. So now let's take that away and you should have the finished overhang. And that's where this video is now going to into the past. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, for the next layer, we want to get up a little higher here. I'm going to go up on the angle. Let's just go right up here. Whoops. Hey, 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 come back down. All right, so now we want to make this little area here slightly angled. Um, actually, no, we're going to need the dark wood. Let's put the dark wood back on and put the dark wood in the corner. Get the steps. And we're going to go one, two steps. All right, I don't need the torches. There we go. And I'm going to put two squares in front and more steps there to give it a little bit of an angled look. And then on the sides here, whoa, easy does it, killer. We're going to put a stair here and a stair here to give it kind of a peaked effect. And then over here on the sides, we're just going to raise it right up with cobble. Dark wood. want to fall. It's a long way down. All right, and so that's that. Let's take a look. Very nice. All right, what is next? All right, so I had to get a little bit more wood, and I filled in the ceiling here. It's just basic plank. That's all. So let's climb down, take a look at what we have so far. There we go. Not too shabby. It's coming along nicely. Now we're going to angle the roof all the way. We're going to make a little peaked um, edge here on the side. Um, and we'll cap it off with half, half height slabs. Let's go. Okay, so let's see. We're going to cap this off like so. And by the way, I've got my blueprint here on my MacBook on the desk. And I'm kind of referencing that because I don't remember this stuff very easily. No, I think I messed that up, didn't I? I've got to go, let's see, one, two, three, and then two on the top. No, that's right. Okay, and then we'll just cap it. Cap each one off with a half block. Like, voila. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
I need a little bit more cobble. Go boom, boom, a boom, 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 ba boom. Do not slip. Whoa. All right, there we go. Let's hop down, take a peek. Okay, that was odd. I just finished up the entire roof, went down, put some torches around, and realized I wasn't recording. So I'm back, and I'm short a whole bunch of stairs here because I had the stairs laid out on the ceiling, on the roof rather, and uh, when you destroy stairs, they come back as regular blocks. So I hope I have enough. Anyway, so next, let's we're going to put the roof up. We're going to angle it like so with stairs. So we just make a row of stairs, and you can go on the other side, do the same thing. It's a little tricky because stairs, the orientation of stairs can always be a little odd. Whoops, wait, did I get that right? Yes, I did. And if a stair does something you don't want it to do, just smack it down with your axe and try again. So now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Oh, no, okay, fine, it worked. Make me look bad, why don't you stare? I'll smack you down anyway. I think I might just just... Oh, no, I'm not going to have enough, am I? Nine. I think I will. All right, get you out of the dirt. So, um, as I was saying when I was offline and wasn't recording, <laughs> I said after I put these two pieces up, I'm thinking, you know, we could make a little second floor here. We could raise this up a little bit higher, put a second floor, make a loft, like a bedroom with a loft up here. I think that would be pretty cool. And once again, if you go to the uh, forums... You'll see uh, many people that have done this little project have added some of their own little touches to it. Second floors, rooms off to the side, etc. And they look fabulous. Okay, so I think we're done with that roof. And let me look. Yes, okay, Fraps is still recording. Thank you. Let's hop down now. We're done with the exterior. Get rid of you, and let's put up. Oh, I already had those torches up, right? Because I think I did that all offline. I thought I was recording. Okay, let's take a look. Nice, cozy, just the way we like things. So I can hang out here, work in my garden, and then when the zombies come, I can run up to Cloud Tower and defend it. I'm really hoping for some kind of zombie or an undead invasion night. Because when you get to a point like now, you know, pretty secure. I have diamond armor, diamond weapons. Uh, I can fight back most things. So, you know, hopefully Notch will be adding some more adventure stuff in the game. And I know that's his plan. We're just waiting patiently for that to happen. Let's spread that out a little bit. Put a few torches up here inside. Um, oh, we have to go down and finish the basement. And I'm going to put a ladder right in the back. Oh, great. Once again, Fraps didn't record. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how much I recorded, but I just basically made a hole here for the basement. Every time I look up, I see Fraps. The little frame rate thing is yellow, which means it's not recording. And I put basement windows in, which essentially is nothing other than, okay, get rid of that. Like this, you just have to blast the hole through, put that foundation back, dig down, put a half step block, and then glass. And I got this idea from the gentleman that uh, designed this house. Um, just like that. So we have a little basement window. We get a little light from outside coming in. So it doesn't get all musty and dusty. Of course, it will get musty and dusty anyway. All right, so now I think I'm going to do the... Um, let's do let's do the fence. Let's do the wall and fence around the house. Make it even cozier. Okay, and to do this, all we have to do is... Now, you can make your wall anything you want. I'm just going to make... Um, I guess I'm going to make it stone. Like so. Let's put a double high stone here. Should I go right at the pathway? I'm, you know what? I'm going to dig this up and make it something other than cobble. I guess I could make the make the wall um, sandstone instead. 
make it a little bit different. I don't know. But I don't like the way it looks like that. So let's just have the wall come around. Is that enough of a wall? Doesn't give me much, much walking space, does it? So anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to go all the way around with the cobble. And then I'm going to put fence post up above. Like so. It's not very secure. Spiders can get in. But um, it's going to look nice. Again, this isn't going to be fortified in by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you know what I wanted to do here on the edge was I wanted to do a double wall there, actually. So let's take that back down. Looks, I think it's going to look a little nicer with that, perhaps. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around and finish that up, and we'll take a look. Okay, I'm back. Got the wall all the way around. And now we can just put a couple of torches. You can get fancy with light stone if you have any. And it's getting dark. Just in time. No slippy slippy. No slippy slippy. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to load up uh, a pack, texture pack. We're going to take a look at this with a texture pack. Hang on. Alright, here's my texture packs. I'm gonna first we're gonna go with the Wayuki. Come on, come on, come on. So excited to see. Build terrain faster. And there's the Wayuki. Gives it a nice homey feel. Oh! Oh homey feel. You know what we forgot? I know this is a pick. I know it's a pick. Let's get that out of there. Is um, something here for the path? We could put a gate here as well, but um, let's see. What should we use here? Dirt, gravel. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do is put the half stone half stone slabs. Uh, I'm probably going to put sandstone here, but I think for now let's just put the gravel down. Make a, a gravel path. Looks kind of cool. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. And I did want to cap these off. Shoot, now I can't get up there. With uh, half slabs. Just capping that off makes a big, big difference. And again, I got that idea from... That's in the thread. There's no torch over here. <laughs> Check out that moon and the Wayukian moon. I will put a link to the in the description to the Wayukian pack as well, which is the texture pack I'm using right now. And that looks really nice. Let's climb up here and take a peek. Come on, climb. There it is. Very cozy. I just have to get inside and do some interior decorating. Bed, furnace, chest, bookshelves, etc. I really, really love that cottage. So cozy. All right, let's try a different texture pack. I have one other one. Actually, I have two. A Lego pack and a Painterly. Let's go try the Painterly. Okay, Painterly pack. That looks really nice, too. Wow. I like the contrast with the brown here and the cobble. And that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, very, very interesting. And the glass is totally clear. That's the painterly pack. I will put a link to that one as well. Let's get a nice view here. Ah, oh, so cute and cozy. All right, um, I think what I'll do is call it for now. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to do some interior decorating. And um, I'll give you guys a walkthrough, maybe in the next tutorial. We'll see. But basically, just want to throw in some furniture, bookshelves, etc. But that's it.
there's a lot more you can do with this again this is just the default build but you can add new rooms maybe a second floor loft um, lots of ideas anyway there we have it that's the cozy cottage build by Leo Stereo go check it out and uh, have a good day guys take care bye bye